Hello, good morning. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, forgive us of our sins. We repent of our sins, Lord. Anything that we may have done that's hindering what you want to say to us, Lord, speak to us, Lord. We are ready to listen, Father, in the name of Jesus. Break down our stony hearts, Father, that we may receive your word and act upon it. In Jesus' name, amen. Have you ever said something you weren't supposed to? Have you ever did something that you weren't meant to do? Was, was it in line with what Jesus would do? Or was it what the world would do? You have to mirror Jesus' life. Because Jesus did no wrong. He did not sin. If he didn't sin, which means he lived the perfect life. He said what should have been said. Because God said what he needed to say through Jesus. Let's go to Matthew 26, 51. Say amen when you're there. And and suddenly, this is verse 51, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. This is in the Garden of Gethsemane, where... Judas came with the high priests and Pharisees to arrest Jesus. So Jesus' disciples, one of the disciples, came out with a sword and struck one of the people that were going to arrest Jesus by the ear and cut it off. But what did Jesus do? What would you do? Would you say, well done, to the disciple or would you help the person that is going to arrest you would you help your enemy but jesus did help because he loves everybody and this was all just part of god's plan 52 but jesus said to him put your sword in its place for all who take the sword will perish By the sword. Or do you think that I cannot now pray to my father and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of angels? How then could the scriptures be fulfilled that it must happen thus? 55. In that hour, Jesus said to the multitudes, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple and you did not seize me but all of this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled that all the disciples forsook him and fled what you see here is that jesus told the disciples that they should not do evil to those that do evil to them If you are rude to someone, people will be rude back to you. That's why Jesus said in verse 52, But Jesus said to him, Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. So, if you're rude to someone, someone will be rude back to you. Treat your neighbour as you would like to be treated. You see here, That Jesus said to them, it must happen. Because that is what the scriptures said. That's what God said would happen. And God does not lie. You have to mirror Jesus' life. You have to act like he did. Can we go now to Matthew 13? Can we go to Matthew 13? Verse, 
Can we go to Matthew 13, verse 27? Say amen when you're there. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to go to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. What I, what you should learn from this scripture is, is that Jesus gave Peter power. You have to mirror what Jesus said to you. Be of good cheer. Do not be afraid. Jesus is not just speaking to Peter. He's speaking to you. In times of trouble, in storms, you have to mirror what Jesus did. When they were rude to Jesus, when they spat at Jesus, when they were mean to Jesus, when they, the enemies, the Pharisees, did everything in their power to stop Jesus. What would you, what did Jesus do? What would you do if you were in Jesus' situation? Would you curse them? Would you be rude to them? That's not what Jesus did though. Jesus said nothing. Sometimes silence is the best response you can give. Because Jesus was silent, he wasn't able to say anything rude. Sometimes we just need to mirror Jesus' life and what he says and what he does. Say if someone is being bullying you at school, what do you do? If they've stopped bullying you because they got in trouble, what do you now say to them? Do you Are you rude to them? Do you bully them back? What do you do? Think, what would Jesus do? If you read the scriptures, you will know what to do. I'm telling you now that what you do is you say, I forgive you. That's what Stephen said when he was getting stoned to death by the Pharisees for preaching the good news of the gospel. He said, Lord, don't hold, I'm paraphrasing, don't hold the sins against them you see Stephen didn't say to the didn't say to Lord God to curse them to make them die in hell to let them hold the weight of their sins Stephen didn't say that he followed what Jesus said when Jesus died on the cross he asked God to forgive them of their sins for they do not know what they're doing that's what Jesus said on the cross Stephen mirrored what Jesus said, and that's what we have to do. We have to mirror Jesus' life. You see here that whatever situation we're in, because Jesus was on this earth and he lived like all of us, he lived on this earth like a human. He was 100% man, 100% God. I know that may not work in your mass calculation, but in heaven's calculation, it works. Hmm. You see, whatever situation we have, Jesus must have went through. Oh, when you think what situation you're having right now, you think, oh, I'm the only one. No, you're not the only one. Can we go to Matthew 13, verse thirty? One, and immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and sent him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? You see here that Jesus helped Peter when he saw that the wind was boisterous and he started to see and he didn't have, he lost, he doubted and he started to sink. You see here, Jesus was in the midst of the storm with him. Jesus was there all along. It's just that 
When Peter saw the circumstance of his situation, when he saw what was around him, how it, the winds looked boisterous, looked powerful and angry, he forgot that Jesus was there. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Mirror his life. When you mirror Jesus' life, you have to read the Bible. When you read the Bible, you see what Jesus did. You even see here how Moses mirrored Jesus' life, even though Moses were thousands and thousands and thousands of years before Jesus. Moses stayed in the wilderness for 40 years. Jesus stayed in the wilderness for 40 days. Moses... Moses was, as a baby, went into the river now. Je Jesus walked on the water. You see here, even though Moses was thousands and thousands of years earlier than Jesus, he still mirrored Jesus' life. However, all of us sin and fallen short of the glory of God. So none of us are really perfect. So, aren't we really not mirroring Jesus' life? That's not what I mean. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But if we repent, if we ask for God's forgiveness, then, then we are mirroring Jesus' life. You see how Moses got given the law on the mountain. And then Jesus... Moses received the law on the mountain. Jesus gave and fulfilled the law. The Mount of Beatitudes. You see? Moses mirrored Jesus' life without even knowing, even though it was thousands and thousands of years before. We have to mirror Jesus' life. Jesus couldn't do the greatest miracle that we can do right now. We can get people saved. And you, you, you the listener, you the viewer, you can get saved. If you want to start mirroring Jesus' life right now, repeat this prayer after me. Father God, dear God, forgive me my sin. Father, I have fallen short of the glory of God, Lord. I repent of my sins. And Jesus and Holy Spirit, come into my heart. They may receive you as Lord and Saviour from this day forward. In Jesus' name, amen. You're saved. Now, yet by mirroring Jesus' life, you have to act like him in any situation. In school, at work. Wherever you go, mirror Jesus. Mirror his life. Do right, not wrong. I recommend you read the gospel, especially the book of John, as it shows you how to mirror Jesus' life and make the righteous and right and just decision. Have a nice day. Thank you for listening.